Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Chris and I'm the youth coordinator at the Parker campus. Let me ask you a question. If you lost all of your material items, maybe a Gucci purse, maybe a Corvette, maybe a lot of money, or maybe a different material item you have here on earth, would you be okay? Do you put your value into those things or into the things of God? In Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 24, it says this, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. This portion of scripture is one that can be incredibly convicting for Christians. The reason why is because Jesus is asking us to go against our selfish human desires. In the beginning of this section, in verses 19 through 21, Jesus is saying to let go of attachment to material things that are here on earth and to not work so hard on gathering treasures that are of this world. Jesus says to instead put effort towards working on spiritual things that last forever in heaven. Storing up heavenly treasures starts with your own personal relationship with God, like reading your Bible and praying. When you do that as a Christian, if you allow him to, God will change your desires to store up earthly treasures to instead store up heavenly treasures, which will lead to you being obedient to God, spreading the gospel to those who don't believe in Jesus, serving others, being kind, etc. It can be difficult as Christians to focus on building up spiritual treasures instead of building up earthly treasures. The reason why is because it can be easy to focus on our present lives on earth rather than eternal life. Trust me, I know the struggle personally. Let me clarify something. There isn't anything necessarily wrong with having goals for things here on earth. What Jesus is saying is this. Where's your heart at? Don't put your attachment and trust into things on earth that will just fade away. Have an eternal focus. Put your attachment and trust into spiritual things that will last forever. Ultimately, this portion of scripture is saying you cannot serve money and material items and treasures here on earth. You need to give those things up to God and be in a place where you would be okay if all of that was taken away. God needs to be the one you serve. If you store up treasures in heaven and you put your trust and your value into God and you serve him, you will be okay if and when earthly treasures fade away. I want to encourage you with this today. To ask God what earthly treasures you need to give up to him and what treasures he wants you to build up in heaven instead. Say to him, God, I'm giving up these earthly treasures to you. I don't want to serve material things or money here on this earth anymore. I want to serve you and you alone. Show me how I can serve you and how I can store up heavenly treasures. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thanks for listening, guys, and I hope you have a blessed day.